From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here's our latest tropical system out in the Atlantic. This one's formed right off the coast of South Carolina. Tropical depression number four. We now do have some warnings in effect for parts of the low country, but here's the forecast. We're expecting tropical depression number four to gain some strength before making landfall at some point tonight along the low country of South Carolina. And if or when it becomes a tropical storm, it'll be called Danny. Here's the forecast is going to continue to move generally towards the northwest and it's going to weaken once it interacts with land. But the expectation is for it to kind of move over this very warm water, part of the Gulf Stream there. And as it does, it's going to gain a little bit of strength. So there's the tropical storm warnings in effect, basically from Edisto Beach to the south Santee River. So you're talking Charleston and Berkeley counties. We're also watching this system way out in the middle of the Atlantic. Hurricane Center gives it a 40% chance of further development and models are pretty consistent until it re reaches basically the Lesser Antilles and then they kind of disagree. They kind of move away from each other at that point. Showers and thunderstorms will be possible. Whatever develops with Tropical Depression 4, whether it becomes a name storm or not, our forecast really doesn't change a whole lot. It may enhance the shower activity a touch, especially in the southern and eastern half of the Midlands. It may lead to some uh, slightly heavier downpours, but regardless, we're still going to see chances for showers and storms all across the Midlands under partly cloudy skies. Some showers will continue tonight and looking ahead towards Tuesday as that system moves towards the north and west, there'll still be that opportunity for some rain. It looks like Tuesday afternoon and even as we go into Wednesday, typical summertime pattern, a chance for showers and storms. Over the next seven days, there's going to be a chance for rain each and every day. Now it's not going to rain all day every day, but there will be at least an opportunity for some shower and thunderstorm activity and models are indicating anywhere from three quarters to an inch and a half of rain over the next seven days. So rain is going to be in the forecast over the next few days. Highs today, upper 80s, low 90s, very typical summertime pattern. As we mentioned though, as tropical depression number four or what may be tropical storm Danny starts to move on shore, that may enhance the rain just a touch, especially in the southern and eastern half of the Midlands. Otherwise, look for partly cloudy skies today. Partly cloudy tomorrow with showers and storms, some showers and storms on Wednesday. A front approaches the area by the end of the work week and into the weekend. The rain chances will increase Friday and Saturday and We'll keep our fingers crossed that maybe those rain chances will decrease just a touch for your Independence Day.